So now that we've talked about lenses and everything about lenses, uh, I wanted to talk about one last element that really can make a big difference on how your lens and camera works. Uh, on one side you have the ND filter or neutral density and what this is is it's a filter that screws on to the front of your lens here you know just screws on right in front and it's high quality glass so it doesn't affect your image quality but what it does do is it reduces the amount of light that comes through your lens. So let's say you want to shoot at an f1.4 but you're in the out day midday sun so that would be just too much light for you. Um, but you want that shallow depth of field that f1.4 gives you. So what you could do is use a neutral density filter and what that does is it reduces the amount of light that comes in. That all depends on which grade you pick, you know, whether it's a 0 0.3, 0 0.6, 0 0.9. Um, and they even nowadays have variable NDs where you can actually rotate the piece of glass and you can choose how much light you want to reduce in your image. Uh, this is a great thing to use if you're interested in video. But it's also a good thing to use in photography uh, if you can't get the shutter speed you want or maybe uh, you want to shoot at something very specific. So NDs are a great way to reduce that amount of light. On the other side, you have polarizers. And while these do a similar effect to the ND filter because it does reduce the amount of light coming in, the real reason you use a polarizer is to change the refraction or reflection of light. Um, the best examples of this are looking at blue sky, maybe in your image it looks a little gray. As you spin the polarizer, it allows that sky to really pop and, and become much bluer. Another way that you use a polarizer is for reflections. And say you are looking through a car window or you're looking at water. As you spin the polarizer, that reflection will disappear or become more present depending on what you're trying to do in your shot. And there's all different types of filters to use, uh, but really, and something I just have to bring up is the UV filter. And this is something that, you know, as you can see here, um, it's fairly discreet, but what it does is it protects this glass. Um, if you scratch your lens, I mean, it's, it costs a lot of money to replace that. So by putting on a UV filter, you're basically protecting that glass. It's clear it doesn't affect your image quality um, there are you know better makes and models of just clarity of glass but for the most part they're pretty simple and it just it helps protect your glass a little bit more and I highly recommend whatever lens you have and for all your lenses to have at least a UV filter on there uh, just to keep it safe so that's filters uh, if you have any questions you know please comment or direct message us. We're happy to help how we can. Uh, and now I'm going to throw it back to Phil.